Hello there, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for coming through. I hope that you're doing well. If you are a returning subscriber, much love and appreciation. If you are new, welcome in. Hit the subscribe button, join the family here. We're going to look at some messages for what's coming up with the internet shutdown. We're looking at what to expect, how to prepare. We're looking at possibly, I hope to get some message on exactly when this will happen and how it will affect many people. We'll definite, we're definitely seeing that it is affecting or it will affect people financially. That's without a doubt. Because we know a lot of people make their money off of the internet. A lot, I feel some people are literally worrying about their sense of financial security. All right? And, and, and because, so let's get some messages. <clears throat> Angel Spirits Guides. Oh, please uh, help me to get some messages, helpful messages about the the internet shutting down. What can we do to prepare? What can we do to prepare for the internet shutdown? Angels, spirits, guides, ancestors. Ooh, <laughs> save your money, invest. I feel farming here. I don't know why, but it feels like a person that has invested in 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 like corn. I get corn energy. <clears throat> invest save your money invest in things like farming and food and um child care i do feel like a lot of feminine energy will be needed in this lockdown as well as masculine but i feel like feminine en energy will be needed when it comes to work and earning because the earth will need healing and love the children will be home there'll be more time spent with family so is that what are you investing in find things to invest in that uh, will make you feel secure about your sense of value, what you're teaching to your children, what you're giving to your community. And farming is coming back. I feel investing in farmlands, farming, own some, some um, stocks or shares in farmlands, okay? Investment, that will help you to feel more secure. We have the justice energy. I'll, I'll clarify that because I'm not picking up on what it is saying right now. What can we do to prepare? We have the temperance energy. What can we do, angels, spirits, guides, my ancestors, to prepare for the coming internet lockdown, the shutdown? Hmm. All right, I feel like it will be a blessing in disguise, the shutdown of the internet. We have the Wheel of Fortune popping out here. I'm not able, oh, the magician. I'm not yet able to tell you <clears throat> why it will be a blessing, but let's see. I feel like it will be a blessing because, oh. Oh my god oh my god it feels like people will be able to to interact physically more like you'll have to to socialize with people around you that is the balance because <clears throat> with the temperance energy i feel a lot of people have been spending time uh indoors away from others so the earth needs this balance maybe that is what the justice energy is saying maybe the time that we're spending chasing money we're not chasing dreams we're not chasing the dreams uh, of the we're not we're not we don't have a vision for earth you know we're not aspiring for what we want earth to be instead i feel like many people are caught up on in, in chasing money i feel like it's about to end or come i don't know why i'm not getting the messages correctly right now <coughs> or maybe i am but i just feel like maybe i'm not focused or i haven't maybe i just haven't cleared up my energy effectively from morning i haven't meditated properly help me to put this message together <laughs> Instead, I need to speak the word here. That's what I'm getting. I feel like that message was for me. I feel like it is saying, be brave, be courageous, and let your light shine. A lot of messages coming through. Ooh. Okay, I feel like this is saying, don't let anyone steal your, your, your expression, steal your sense of self. A lot of beautiful cards coming. Um, I feel like it is saying, don't let anyone steal your voice, your word, your truth, your authenticity. All right. Because what you have to give or to share is important. It's like, I feel like some, some people, some, many people, it's like chosen energy. Because for me, the Eighth of Swords is Christ consciousness. So it feels like some people are chosen. See? You've been elected, chosen. And then there's a person that, or there's a spirit or an energy or a person that set in your way to target you. Or like they know that you'll be chosen and you'll be awarded this sword, for example. This story can be your words, your way of speaking, whatever it is, your, your intelligence, all right? They know you've been appointed. And so it's like they were awaiting you for this official appointment, like waiting for you to come out, waiting for you to speak, waiting for you to show up, waiting for you to represent in your truth before they come and knock you down. Because I feel like that's the energy. 
they're set there this energy to kind of knock you down to steal from you and for them this is playful this is what this person does this is what they've been hired to do this is what they are here to do to 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 sabotage you to manipulate you to set you up so that you fail to make you feel less to make you doubt yourself all right to to take away your sense of security to take away your faith all right and that's what this person may some people say you may have this person around you possibly no i'm talking about the internet i don't know where this reading is going and maybe I'm, i feel like i'm not seeing the messages clearly i don't know why i feel like i have been given a gift i i, I just don't know what's going on here i feel like these messages are for me doubting myself about this reading because i feel like i'm not seeing what it is saying about the shutdown except of the internet except invest in farmlands that's it and i feel the justice energy i'm not sure what it means i'm going to ask for some clarifiers to see what it is saying how to prepare is what is the four what is the four of pentacles okay because remember i was saying invest in nurturing because i feel like this is trying to tell me that i'm kind of on point i should just not have doubt and fears about the words that i'm speaking to just trust that's what this message is saying. And it's not only for me, it's for many people who are chosen, who are speaking out, who have something to say. There's, there's, there are words coming through you, whatever it is that you need to say, and it's for a reason. It's because you are in that, that vibration and it needs to come through you. It possibly has nothing to do with you. Because sometimes we take things personally. When we get a message to give to someone else, don't take it personally, it's just a message. So sometimes just deliver, you know, deliver. You might come up on obstacles that may want to keep you from delivering your message or moving forward in your life as you are appointed. But that's okay, that's their job. It's just you have to keep going, keep sturdy and not. And to stand up and be powerful. Brace against the wind. You know what I'm saying? That's the energy. Uh, so, all right. So, I was saying invest. And I, fe I feel like the, um, the feminine energy will be very important, like I say. See, the Queen of Cups just landed on this, this Four Pentacles energy here that's saying invest. I feel invest in schooling, in education, in community centers, in farmlands. In um in healthcare for the elderly, healthcare for the for the for the less fortunate. It's that feminine spirit that's coming up in this earth, and this is what we're going to revive with this. Uh, whenever this happens, it's like justice. And the the internet going. It's uh, with the justice energy. What I'm seeing here is that losing the internet because maybe I wasn't able to translate the messages properly or effectively because I'm I'm worried about losing the internet. Also, you know, um, I'm worried about my finances and all these things. But um, I'm feeling like this is just telling me to say it's going to be okay with the justice energy. The internet shutting down is, uh, it is actually in our favor with the justice card. It's hard for me to say it even, but I feel like this is in our favor. It's as if um, there's, there was an operation or some investigation being done. You know, like for example, a company shuts down. You don't know why, you know, but this justice energy is telling me that something was taking place. Like that has to do with the internet, whosoever owns the internet overall. We know big corporations own everything, like just maybe six to seven major corporations that own everything. So whosoever that it is that owns the Internet, I feel there was some injustice here. And the shutdown actually is in our favor as creators and as viewers and participants across the globe. That's what the justice energy is saying. It just feels like this, you know, like um, an auditor comes along to inspect the, a business and they find out that there has been financial fraudulence going on. And so the business has to close down and the consumers don't really know what's going on. The justice energy is saying, listen, the internet shut down. I don't know where this is coming from. It could be from a spiritual place or this could be a physical, a physical place like in our, on this plane where the internet is shutting down for some reason that has to do with some injustice. And we'll be finding out the truth. I, that's how, how I feel. It's, it's a fortunate thing because I said it could be a blessing in disguise, but I wasn't feeling it yet. I'll go further to see why this is a blessing in disguise. I feel like something better, more refreshing may be coming in after this shutdown. So, you know, let's keep hopeful. After the shutdown, we could be getting, some, I feel, something more more feminine. Maybe, maybe a female will create something, a woman that's more nurturing. And when I say more nurturing, it mean, I mean it will, an internet will arrive that will cater to more of your needs. You know, when women do things like all the T's are crossed and the I's dotted, you're in all of the... In the areas in which you think you would need assistance or help, they're going to be filled. So this internet that's going to come, something new is coming. 
it's going to be beautiful it's probably better than what we have because listen we are only exposed to this internet because this is all we have ever known with the justice the temperance the wheel of fortune this is telling me that something is closing or something was not fair and i feel like oh i do feel like this is i felt satellite energy literally a while ago so this could be saying that uh, maybe maybe some things sh should be free Maybe some, but, and we're not thinking that the internet should be free and no one, like it shouldn't be owned by one person. Who was the person that invented the internet and what was their intention behind it? Should it be free for all people? Why is one pe person able to shut down the internet? And are, who and who out here thinking about these things? You know, who is able to switch a button and shut down the internet? Of course, they're going to give us a, a reason and excuse why this happened. It's because of something malfunctioning or whatever, but we, we know we know behind the scenes more is going on here there's a lot more going on regarding this i'm literally out in space i feel the satellite energy i'm feeling um hmm. i have so much to share with you so much magical things so many beautiful things that i've experienced in my trips in astral projection i've been i've been astral projecting since i was very 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 young i didn't know i'm actually even i did not know what i was doing i just started to become aware of that oh that's what i was doing um but i've been to many places you know what i mean um so the justice i'm back in i literally i'm out i'm literally where the satellite is i can't i wish i could just tell you how this feels it's like a, a this satellite or a celestial body there's something about the internet it's it's bigger than we think if i should get into into this it's going to take me a long time you know that's why i like to do live readings because to worry about the upload speeds of videos when they're long you know and who really watches a long video when when it's live you get to see the messages unfold along with me here um all right so this is coming from a higher place listen for those of you who don't believe in alien life or there, there are other life forms in this universe or other universes you better open your eyes and your ears now this also feels like other life forms all right the temperance energy there are angels and spirits working here ancestral energy here of course the magician had to come out someone is saying stop some change has to take place on this in this earth i'm telling you this internet shutdown that we're going to experience is coming from a higher place. All right, I'm, I'm so glad I did this reading. So, yes, many people are worrying about their finances. In a few minutes, I'll ask if I remember, hopefully I remember, to ask a question about, um, like, what will happen financially for those who kind of count upon the internet for financial supply. Okay, remember that earlier we did say start putting your money, investing your money in farmlands because we may have to go back to a bit of bartering system. Even I'm telling you, it's true. There's going to come a time where you're going to have to um, trade some corn for for some mangoes. Okay, that's when money does not have value anymore, and that's that's for those people that choose to step away from the the lifestyle of the matrix and to really create something for themselves. Okay, so. And this is this this internet shutdown is literally a blessing in disguise because it is an opportunity for those that don't wish to participate in the matrix lifestyle to really create an, a, another sense another source of income which gives them a sense of stability which makes them feel like okay i don't have to rely on the system for money or for survival you know that's that's and it's going to be so beautiful i i love this justice energy i can't stop feeling it it's so adamant it's like law it's like the law is here and it's universal law there people have been dealing unfairly with us on this planet you know it's not I, 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 uh, all right let me give you an example let's say we're thinking of a movie right now and there are many different planets okay and then there's the head planet of course where 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 that's the head planet and then there are other planets <laughs> so each planet is assigned a leader or ruler or a group of rulers or leaders and they're to uphold certain standards and i feel like because they they um they they're not being monitored like uh they're not being monitored or micromanaged so these people these rulers of these planets are able to to do mischievous things or should i say fraudulent things and deceive the people of earth or whatever planet they're on but i just feel like the bigger heads now have just gotten wind of this they, they are now aware of what's been going on oh i do feel like they're becoming aware yes because we are speaking out if we were keeping quiet and we're not saying anything, we're not expressing ourselves, listen, we're keeping all of our emotions to ourselves, we're thinking that this is okay the way we're living. It's like it's okay. The people over on Earth aren't complaining about anything. Earth is fine. But when there's a rumble and a roar going on in Earth, it's attracting the attention of the bigger heads. And they're coming to listen people are going to go to jail people are probably like people are going to be facing up to their crimes here on this planet i feel like it's so beautiful but for some it's not everyone it's literally for the, those that are up higher we just say higher heads 
okay those are the ones that are going to be facing justice this justice is their karma and, and and let's just see i feel like they may they may resist they may attempt to fight back or to defend but they do know where they do know they do know what their limit is when it comes to this justice energy they know that they have to respect boundaries rules and laws they know they've been caught and still because they know they've been caught it's like they're scampering they're looking to hide i feel some people are looking to hide some people are looking to hide the bigger heads some of them are looking to hide away because justice is coming to get them all right this system that they've been running has been so corrupted and i'm telling you the more you speak i literally did not expect to get all of this information the more you speak up and out it's it's showing the imbalance of earth you're asking for what you want and it is also important for you to visualize the earth that you would prefer to live in that also helps to point out uh all the negative things that's going on because you're focusing on creating something that you're not seeing so it's like people are saying oh the people on earth are not satisfied we're going to go over there and intervene they wanted to keep these people from coming to earth they did not want these higher heads to come in and intervene they didn't want them to come here to inspect or do their regular investigation i feel like whenever this person do these people or whatever this energy is of some celestial body whenever they do come to earth oh my god i'm talking loud i know in this time speaking like this sounds like insanity <laughs> all right so <laughs> but i'm so caught up in it but whenever they do whenever these people do visit earth it's like they're hiding things brushing things under the rug trying to say yeah man everything is going great on earth you know like when that um health inspector comes to a restaurant and you try to just clean the surface walk them around to the parts that you know are doing well or appear to be doing well that's the energy that's that is what's been going on on earth all right so bigger heads intervening They're, they have gotten wind of the truth here this magician energy, the power is within you. And that's their voice. I do feel voice with these two cards here. I feel like the, the energy of our voice, whether through music or just through by speaking, it's an energy I can literally see moving. It's like communication going to where it's like a, I feel satellite energy. I'm serious. I do feel it. It's like a satellite picking up on our vibration, picking up on our, our echoes, our screams, whatever it is. We all of us are connected to a channel that reaches directly to that place, wherever it, whatever it is, wherever it is. We, are, we have a source that connects us to this place. It's, the magic is within us. It is within our voices. And that's why they try to sabotage us, to make us feel weak, to take away our beliefs to kind of um, manipulate what we believe manipulate how we speak try to lock us in boxes try to make us feel crazy because they try to keep everything buried but listen the magician energy this also feels like justice is being done the internet is getting shut down and, and it's not as simple as you may think it is believe me it's not just about the powers that be wanting to control the internet it's more than that it's justice being done whenever the internet comes back it's going to be more beautiful we have the more so much more beautiful so ask for what it is that you want to visualize the kind of internet experience that you'd want to have okay lovely people so um so this feels like water remember i'm saying it feels like a stream of energy a magical fo i feel the stream is um it's able to to go out to 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 oh my god to be percepted intercepted um, and a trans not transmission is a transmission what does it mean when you send out energy send out communication so it's like communication like a wavelength that's the energy i'm getting with this and then here comes the knight of cups energy so it feels like coming to or beck and call it feels like coming to it feels like coming to or rescue like i don't know if it is our rescue or just come and this feels like a police energy but this is not earth like this is not the earthly kind of uh, policing it feels like law it feels like law. It, it feels like coming to serve because there's con there's there's disarray on the planet and this feels like this knight of cups feels like it's coming to bring the justice so we'll we'll see if if i get to clarifying because the message the video is long we get to clarify to see what is coming to bring the justice what is the justice energy all right so after the justice comes because we have the ten of swords twice so something is ending and something new rebuilding at this i feel like at the same time i do feel like these 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 people are whatever whatever this this the justice energy is that i'm talking about I do feel like at the same time of um, 
creating something to um you know, um causing something to crumble they're also rebuilding and re-establishing something new i feel like at the same time it is probably already done it is probably already done that's how I feel. They're, they're building something new while something is crumbling. So the internet, I don't feel it will go down for long. For those of you who feel financially insecure losing the internet, oh my God. It's not, it's not going to go down for long. Hey, I like that. I like feeling that energy. It's not going down for long. And when it comes back, it's going to be brand new and beautiful. It's like, um, let me tell you. It's like you, you, you didn't realize how beautiful a setup could be it's like the curtains raising and then you're like oh each each time the curtain gets higher and higher there's more to see and you're like oh my god whoa that's what's over there oh, humanity it will be beautiful like that's how i feel i hope i don't sound too strange but i feel like what's going the, the new thing the the wheel of fortune that's coming after this shutdown the blessing in disguise it's uh, it's beautiful it's like a veil has been lifted it's like earth is witnessing a dome being brought down and they're able to see real life for the first time oh but it, it it might just have to be with the internet i feel like it could be telling me to say that um like th like things will be more real that's showing on the internet like more like let me tell you <sighs> It feels like there's more real things, more natural things. It feels like you're literally closer to people. Like you're not watching people on the internet anymore. It feels like when you this internet noise, people feel literally close to you. Like they're all, they're in your home. They're there with you. It's like this internet that's coming. It's like I can't. I want to explain it. It's nice. I don't know if it is nice, but it's it seems like it's okay. It's like being able to see into another person's world like the, like the internet that's coming you're able to see like literally be live into another person's world so it's like live energy live energy real authenticity it's not surrounded around fakery and foolishness and 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 spreading the the ideas of the matrix it's like it's literally more life so when like i feel like tuning in it's like the things you'll be seeing are beautiful i'm feeling sunshine meadows grass mountains cool breezes like the veil is being lifted and life is like literally being seen and this could be the awakening of of many through the loss of this internet the awake like people's yes because i'm saying i feel like a curtain rising i'm getting goosebumps amazing but it feels so it's like eyelids opening up sleeping people waking up through the internet shutting down amazing oh my god it's like sleeping people opening their eyelids slowly and they're like whoa this is what life is and it's beautiful it's not like they're going to wake up to a world that is filled with chaos because it's going to be cleansed with whosoever this person is as the knight of cups that's coming to 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 kind of um bring justice to the disarray on this planet with the five of wands it's going to cause a lot of people to open up their eyes and see a beautiful world because i do feel like earth is beautiful and like i was saying with that um example or, or illustration using a movie to say like there are many different planets who have been appointed that have been appointed rulers but there's also a bigger head of where where the rulers really really are so earth i feel earth is naturally so abundant and beautiful and that's what we'll be seeing that's what we won't be seeing stress and war and fatigue we'll be seeing life for the first time life so yeah so i was saying it's like sleeping people waking up Opening their like, eyelids and seeing life, like how you're supposed to live, the freedom, the expression, the ability to manifest like this. That's the life I'm seeing beyond, be, 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 beyond this, this veil, this, oops. That's the life I'm, I'm seeing. There's a vision here. Things are ending, but there's like a vision, a vision, have a vision for the future. See, it's kind of in the distance, 
but it is our future what is what is what is the light because listen this feels like the clouds the curtain raising and what's being revealed is light all right so notice there are wings on this person's helmet that's why it's heavenly wherever this this person coming to serve justice like oh and all of the people, these are the people that are getting served the justice. These would be the people that are in disarray. The one, they're going to be fighting against each other. The one, the one person, they're fighting against one another. They're fighting with each other. They're trying to hide. They're turning, it, tur turning each other in. They're throwing each other under the bus. Uh, but no one really cares. They're fighting with, with each other. They, they, they have nowhere else to run. The only thing that they have to do is to fight with one another here. And then here comes this justice coming in and they're gonna get served oh my god this video is so long I'm gonna end it here because I'm you know I don't have the, the environment to, to really di dive into all of the messages here because uh, my little nephew is here and so he needs my attention I'm gonna give it to him. This video is so long. It's so beautiful. I wanted to see who this who who this person or this this energy is. Oh my god! But I think I'm gonna to have to really focus to get it. I like it. I really like it. So in the end, we'll be celebrating. There's newness coming in. There's water energy. There's love. There's bounty. I feel like this is this is reassuring us that justice will be. There will be justice. Why do I speak like that? There will be justice. Okay. I feel like this is saying there will be justice, you'll be happy, you will be getting what you deserve. And humanity will be like, yay, oh my god, yay. Humanity will unite. Humanity will see who they are, that there's nothing separating us. Black, white, yellow, brown, red, I, I listen. Humanity will share this together, I C-H-E-E-R. It's like so beautiful. People from all across the world will stand together and give thanks. I feel, oh my God, I'm getting so much. I'm getting chills. It's so beautiful because it's like for the, and it's like humanity. We are holding no grudges against these people because they're dealt with from a higher perspective. And it, of course, it comes through us, through us speaking, through us asking for help, through us not being satisfied, through us not conforming. But standing up and speaking out and working your magic and knowing where the magic is, that it is within you and you ask for what you want. So uh, many people are not meant to conform, you know. There are people that are whistleblowers here. People that are here, the chosen ones to ensure that life is lived fully and not being cheated. I, I want to see who these people are, who are the, the ones that are going to face justice. All right, I keep saying that, but I'm not getting there. Instead, I just get there. I just keep saying it. All right, so, so I, I feel like there's a... So the reason why... Okay, okay, okay. So the reason why the internet is still... Right, like, there's a pause, there's a wait. There's a, there's a, it's not a halt. But it's like a... It's like... It's like a wait. Like someone is waiting or something is waiting... Because I do, I feel like the matter is being handled. No. On trial, no. Listen, these people are probably on trial, no. And that's why they're fighting so hard and causing so much chaos. And the chaos that they're, they're, they're stirring up, it can be huge. I mean, it can be tsunamis, huge. Okay, so we have to be careful of that. So it's, 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 it's important for us to balance out the situation and not let their energies, because listen, they are very powerful. We have been feeding our energies to these people. They're very powerful. So it is important for us to take our power back and focus our intention in the direction in which we wish to go, wish to go. So this pause that we're going to be um, getting from the internet, this break is going to cause us to really stop, to look at the life we've created, look at how we've been living. What's going on here? And I feel like it is within this break that something spiritual will happen. That mankind will get some information. Or someone will, will have now the opportunity to come in. And to tap you on the shoulder. Like someone will feel more comfortable. <laughs> 
because someone will feel more comfortable to um come in to like to say um excuse like like maybe right, for example let me just tell you for example for example people that don't believe that aliens exist in this break or this pause that you're assessing your life and where you want to be next you're on this journey to start to visualize this is when say the aliens may come in and and they may say hello um hi they they're going to take their time they're not going to rush you i feel like they may come in to just uh, like make like to, to let you know that they're here it's like meeting a new friend and this person is bold they're going to come in and say hi to you and you're going to be wondering okay what's going on here and then the truth will be revealed okay so so all right so they're coming in as the page of cups with this fish in the cup uh, and they're, they're going to just hint at you a little bit that they're magical and that they're different it's like when this person points you may see light in their fingertips like et like in the movie <laughs> et phone home <laughs> and they're coming to say i come in peace i'm not joking it's true we're going to see everything i speak is true all right now we're going to finally get clarifications for the knight of cups please angels praise guys i just feel out of touch a bit please um realign me reassure me that i'm getting the messages that are true here what is the knight of cups energy what is the knight of cups energy please angels praise guys okay so i want to know if this is angels or, or aliens or both <laughs> or one in the same Angels first, guys, what is the Nine of Cups? Ancestors, give me a hint. Ooh, what is the Knight of Cups? Ancestors. Okay, what is that? Because mm. I, 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 I do feel like life hasn't been life alive. It feels like reverse. But I'm asking for the clarification for the Knight of Cups, but I feel like it's still talking about the Five of Wands. What you're saying, it's talking about the, the condition in which the Earth is in and, and why they're coming. I feel like this is saying they're coming to put people in behind bars, perhaps. And these people feel like people that should be, should be behind bars. This could be a police officer, like, angelically. You know? Because I feel like these people could like could have been convicts and they escaped and they're here turning the planet into shams or sham or whatever. So it feels like these people have escaped. <laughs> I don't know. That's the energy. Oh my God. I'm getting celestial energy where something is shooting right through like at light speed. Traveling through diamond, through time or portals. That's what I'm getting with the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles energy. What is the Knight of Cups, Angels, Spirits, Guides, and my ancestors that are here backing me through this reading? I appreciate your energy. Please give me clarification for the Knight of Cups energy. I feel like I was just told there's some things I don't have to know. And maybe, like, there's some things I don't. Um, uh, what is the Knight of Cups? The Emperor? What is the Knight of Cups? <laughs> oh my gosh it's like the emperor just came in to say little girl be careful of the road you're trotting on that's the energy i'm getting like the emperor literally just came here in my vision i'm going to edit this out see that's 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 what i'm talking about being scared to speak it's like this trust in myself is is being removed because of some earthly ideas why can't I be open-minded and free-thinking? Because I'm saying, I feel like this emperor literally just... You know like the Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland? How it appears out of nowhere and just is there? I feel like that's the energy the emperor came in on. on like I'm, I'm going down a road or an avenue. You know like when Alice... Um, you're going down and I'm, I'm heading this way and I'm getting close. I'm get, I'm go, I'm, I think I'm venturing in territories that... I probably should not be in right now or is just that's the energy but I, I'm not fearful I'm not afraid but then this emperor just appeared like the Cheshire Cat energy in Alice in Wonderland just to tell me it's like this warning like saying be careful where you go oh, ho, ho. but I'm not scared 
I'm not scared. What is the Knight of Cups energy? Angel spirits, guys, and my ancestors. It's like a warning to stop. <laughs> Why do I have to stop? I want to see. Oh my god. Don't do that. It's like a, a, a warning or a threat. It's like maybe I won't be able to sleep at night. Or like my mental space won't be the same. If I see here or I know this. Ooh. Alright, alright, alright. I'm getting something. I'm, I'm still going. I'm still walking here. Even though I'm being warned. Alright, let's try one more shuffle because I did two. I'm going to do one more shuffle and see what happens. Because the energy I'm feeling like is I'm going in a different vibration, a different state state it's as if if i go here to come back to human realm it will be different like i won't i feel i'm also getting lightheaded like i'm starting to float i feel like my body is like floating here because i'm venturing into an energy space that i'm not used to but i'm going and i'm beginning to feel it's like if i go here it's like that energy if i go here and come i won't be the same I don't know if I should go, but I have one more shuffle and I'm still going to ask the same question because I'm all and all is within me. What is the Knight of Cups energy? What is the Knight of Cups? Angels, spirits, guides, ancestors. I'm protected. I feel protected. I'm, I'm claiming protection over my mental space, my physical space. I did see this earlier, the Knight of Swords. Ooh, let me tell you what that is. Listen. I'm not supposed to go here right now, but I feel like the Knight of Cups energy, the the angels or aliens that are coming to serve justice, it's happening quickly. This change is happening rapidly. And um, so you may see changes in the world happening quickly. You may see the powers that be really struggling to hold on to their power. And they're trying to do put a lot of things into place so, so fast because they know that they're being charged. Knight of Cups energy, please. Clarification for the Knight of Cups. Who is coming? Angels, aliens. One more. Angels, aliens. Ooh, angels, aliens. Angels or aliens. Who is coming to serve justice? Angels or aliens. Okay. What is the role? What is their role? What do they do? How do they serve? I, I feel like I'm not supposed to no right now i feel like i'm cr i don't know i feel like i'm going to have to I, I maybe i shouldn't do it on here this is where i'm heading i'm getting the feeling like i should not attempt this now because i need to breathe more and meditate more to be able to go to be here so I, I just feel like i'm not i feel emotionally ready to dive into here like i need to breathe there's something about my breathing and the my ability to hold my breath to take this deep dive, deep dive, deep dive, dive. Oh my gosh, what's going on with my words? Dive deep in order to take this deep dive into this unknown situation here. Let's do one more clarification for the powers that be the struggle, the five of wands energy. What is the five of wands? Hmm. I do feel so underneath the earth and I feel rock stones. I feel stones and rock. What is the five of wands? <gasps> oh my god. Is oh my god. 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 Alright, I, I felt rock stones. I know I'm feeling movement. People are moving and shift. I feel the earth is moving. And like I don't know if the earth is opening up. But I do feel like the earth and I feel a lot of boulders just just um moving up. As if the force is coming from beneath and, and and things are pulling up what is the five of wands energy powers that be what is the five of wands hmm. I said a while ago in my mind it's like trying to wake up an energy from beneath the earth maybe that's what they're trying to do so that e oh my god so that evil may rule or they're trying to draw for the boss or the boss like they're trying to tap into their their last are their most powerful stream like it's their last resort 
resort to awaken this energy beneath the earth i do feel stones moving here you know like okay yeah yeah. it is that energy of someone coming up from the earth and stones it's like coming from beneath like that rumbling of stones it's not falling it's more like like stones moving yeah it's that energy of something coming up from beneath the earth and there are a lot of boulders there and just rising up i don't know if it is evil oh my god the four the four swords the dead chaos i am just saying chaos spiritual warfare the four swords laying surrendering laying down your weapons oh shit someone they, like trying to awaken the dead energy here it's like and they're trying fast and they may fail because haste make waste these people are in a hurry to do this and they may fail the, I feel the, the, the confidence of the Knight of Cups coming through really swiftly. And they may come up on opposition because these people may be gathering up energy, like tapping into their most powerful source of, of whatever energy they've been storing up from the collective of humanity to try to charge it against this, this, in this Knight of Cups energy that's coming. It's like a, they're all maybe, it's either they're fighting against each other or they're teaming up to come up with this energy to to combat they're tr they're really trying listen they're really you know that that movie con air listen the movie I, I have seen that movie maybe twice con air or something like that where bruce willis is in it so i feel like it's that energy where all the prisoners because see i'm getting prisoner energy once more these people these people may not be human beings they may have come from somewhere else they have, may have escaped and they're here ca causing chaos on earth they've been found out but i know i feel like they're all planning together to do something energetic to kind of annihilate the the, the 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 justice that's coming toward them so it may be a huge blow up like we may see sparks flying when energies begin to battle um we may not witness anything at all any last messages for the internet shutdown what should we expect how should we prepare so the only thing i'm seeing all right what time frame should we look forward to this happening in okay so empress you're here we're talking about a lot of you who are going to be standing up in your power as chosen people speaking out and not being afraid knowing that your angels are on your side and knowing that justice is on your side so speak up because justice needs you too because they too are maybe facing maybe facing um defense or maybe facing opposition maybe facing opposition so they need they need us to to be self-aware if they wh whoever wants to fight with them they're ready to accept your choices so i feel that's, that's the energy so speak up speak out be heard be known where let it be known where you stand and what you stand for last messages and i'm gonna go okay happiness there's something from the past that's going to come back around like like a nostalgic feeling of past happiness new beginnings and and disconnecting from unserving energies is very powerful the earth is being transformed and i feel like a lot of cancer water energy here cancer pisces scorpio we need nurturers lovers healers guides here on this earth in this plane no i appreciate you being here okay so thank you so much for watching i love you i love your energy here thank you so much for coming through asking these questions and actually listening to the messages that i'm providing here for you i love it much love and guidance protection on your journey if you're interested in coming through again do subscribe to my channel so you can be notified whenever i post up new content for you for us um hit the subscribe button to leave a compliment behind if you enjoy the messages and the way i'm delivering the messages to you share these messages with those you love so hit that share button and spread the word thank you so much um what else if you're looking for ways to support me and my channel on my growth and my channel's growth check out the description box below all of your support is greatly appreciated and goes towards further developing my channel and my expression, developing my spiritual heights as well so that I can dive deep. <laughs> okay, I love it. I love you so much and I'll see you within the celebration of humanity's uprising. Much love and guidance and protection. All right, Sage Sunset out.